Hey guys, I'm going to keep this very brief, an introductory tutorial of sorts, responding specifically to questions people have been messaging me with in regards to how to improve their artwork. Um, I was addressing them individually, but there's just too many and this makes more sense. Um, I will likely compartmentalize this or so, so if you want to know my opinion on certain things um, concerning drawing and painting, um, irrespective of the tools or, or more the fundamentals, then I'll edit the links in. Okay, um, so firstly, just general inquiries. This entirely, this is entirely subjective, I should say. So bear that in mind when I stress that these are just my own opinions. Um, again, I'll comment on some of the fundamentals in later videos. Okay, so um, the most common question seems to be concerning the drawing of a specific subject matter. I how to draw a human female, an animal, an eye. Um, a nose, hair, whatever it is, and the answer is the same every time. Um, the content is almost irrelevant. The fundamentals are applicable regardless. If you can draw a jar convincingly, you can draw a human head. Um, obviously, this is an oversimplification, but the mindset in regards to the learning process is what you're looking to address. You can apply simple rules to almost anything, and you'll begin to see them in use elsewhere. I mean, um, I'll, I'll explain it in greater detail another time though, but that's generally, so just keep that in mind. Um, next is how to stay motivated. The, the tools for this are specific to the individual, so, and are garnered through experience. I would say though, above all else, enjoy what it is you're doing. That is really important, that's probably the most important thing. Even if it's, seem, if it's seemingly irrelevant or unclear as to what it is you're gaining from it, um, just, just enjoy it. Um, do not focus too much on the results, they'll come regardless, but um, immerse yourself in the experience of the act itself. So you, you develop your confidence and skills in tandem and eventually when you reach the end of each goal, in this case specifically painting or drawing, um, you'll be more concerned with how to do it better next time. It's sequential when it repeats, so also just live life, experience different cultures, talk to others, learn alternate alternative perspectives. It, law laden your design sensibilities and ultimately your decisions as an artist. Um, the third most common question is concerning the choice of medium, um, whether to use traditional or digital. I mean I've sp spoken at length on this before so you'll probably know what my opinion is on this anyway but if you don't, um, I've heard artists profess almost endlessly about the epiphany they experienced as soon as they switched media and honestly all that says to me is that they were inefficient learners. I mean, don't blame the medium for that. Your brain doesn't suddenly forget how to draw or paint or form a dis distinction between the two as soon as you put down a stylus and pick up a pen or vice versa. You, you'll get some pretentious people that are asserting the superiority of one medium over another and often the those that work traditionally, not always, but it tends to be, um, and it's often through a lack of understanding or the, the fear of the unfamiliar. And, I mean, as was the case with a lot of temper artists threatened by the introduction of oil paints. So, in that example, um, the slower drying times of the latter scene was seen as a form of cheating, etc. It's just immature and ridiculous. I mean, if you want to learn, I'd say choose a medium you're least comfortable with. The challenge will force you to reconsider what it is you think you know. Though, if your resources are limited, obviously the decision is made for you. But don't be disheartened by that either way. You're not at a disadvantage. Um, whatever you choose to use. Um, I'd say, okay, yeah, I'm going to keep this brief. So I'll just, I'll just, use, I'll just take another question. The last one. Um, this concerns the use of references. Uh, I'd say references are fairly important. Obviously, they have their uses, but as a guide alone. So, too often is it relied upon. You, you enter a state of complacency and your creativity is stifled as a result. I think drawing from life specifically should be an habitual process and you should utilize your surroundings. Uh, too often, people look elsewhere, they pay other people often a lot of money for obvious answers, and it's tragic, especially when it's staring them in the face. I mean, and but what I'm, what I'm saying as well is that slavishly copying a photograph isn't the answer and presenting it as anything other than a, a glorified study 
is a ridiculous and pointless exercise in my opinion. Often you'll see us do this for essentially a quick ego massage or stroke or whatever and the subject is usually a well-known or beautiful person. From, from the artist's perspective the elation you experience from the instant gratification of others is only reinforcing that the negative belief that you're actually learning something when quite often you're not. Um, to everyone else direct your praise as a photographer for often it requires little to no effort on the artist's part but time and most of it is wasted. But um, on a more positive note, just trust me when I say you'd be much better off drawing from life. You'd certainly learn more as you'd be forced to consider a 3D subject in, in a two-dimensional space amongst other skills you're utilizing. Um, obviously this isn't available to everyone always and if you do require a specific subject to reference just bear that in mind. But I would always, it kind of ties in actually to what I said in the introduction, just just bear in mind that the subject is, is far less important than what it is you're learning in terms of the skills that you're applying to that subject as you're learning it. Um, it sounds very kind of vague in the way that I'm describing it right now, but it makes a lot more sense when um, I'll apply it to, I'll apply it to in other videos, like future videos, in terms of the specifics and the fundamentals. I'll go into them in a lot more detail, but this is literally a very brief introduction. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there for now, though, like I said, I will be recording videos concerning the fundamentals in the future and the specifics of my working practices, as, at least as they are currently. Um, yeah, so thanks for listening, guys. Um, hope you like it. Uh, again, I will be going into more detail in the future. Uh, all the best.